always asking God for signs? The only way I can put it is that I asked. Signs were being given. They've probably been given a lot longer than what I've been looking for. What have you been asking? How long have you been asking? For a man, I, I can remember. I remember what I would call talking to God as a young man. So you know, anywhere from about eleven, twelve onwards, but under the under the the blanket of being a Christian, um, but never being comfortable with it. Uh, I would never say that I've ever stopped talking to what I would profess as being God. Um, but the last three years of my life have been a journey to to basically become one. Do you know what I mean? Like oneness with my with my belief. Um, so if anyone is asking for, for God's help or God's guidance, you actually have to look for that guidance. Because if you're not looking for it, it ain't going to jump on, like, literally on your lap. You're going to bump into it and you've got to recognise that that's what it is. That's why I'm here today. What size did you get when you were the two things you mentioned? Yeah, yeah. Um, for, for me personally, I mean, the signs I'd say is that, one, you know in your heart that God is there, he's with you, um, and he is guiding you, and he wants to keep you. Um, but not being sure of it, not being 100% on it, and then asking for guidance. You know, I've, I've got an amazing family. You know, my wife and children are amazing. They support me in everything I do. They do not feel uncomfortable about me transferring or, tra or admitting to being a, uh, you know, submitting to Allah. Um, but I went to Peru spiritually. That's where I went. That's where I went. I've gone as far as going to Peru by myself and with the support of my family for guidance from God um, to become one with them, uh, to get where I need to be today. And from that moment on, everything has been pointing in the direction of like I've never, I've never searched anything to do with you guys, let's do that like that. But all of a sudden in my feed, my YouTube feed, yeah. all of a sudden your videos started popping up. And it was interesting, and I, I loved watching it. So it kind of made sense that that didn't happen for no reason. And like I said, you know, when I was going to Peru, I had that conversation with uh, the guy who did my jabs, who, who then professed that he wasn't being a good enough Muslim and he wanted to go back to being a good Muslim, and I was the spur for that over the talk of when I talked about what I saw in meditation. Um, friends from school, you know, I remember talking very deeply, like you, what you would call a dawa here. Yeah. I remember doing it at school at about 13, 14 years old with two very good Muslim friends. So, yeah. That's good, that's interesting. So brother says Michael came here today, um, he asked God for signs uh, before he was doing meditation. And he came here today and he wanted to speak uh, to myself, wanted to speak to uh, Brother Hashim. And alhamdulillah, as you see on the video, which you're going to see later, because this is, uh, we just, uh, we, we just uh, interviewed him again, because the footage, the other footage didn't have audio. So you can see, if you ask God Almighty for guidance, brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send you those signs and guidance. It's upon you to take the guidance or not. Michael decided to take that guidance on, not only watching videos of the brothers here, but coming to the park to actually meet us in person. And he came across me, I think he was looking for brother Hijab or Hashim and uh, you know, he came, he wanted to speak. And Alhamdulillah, he accepted Islam. Um, and you're gonna see that in a minute, inshallah, with brother Hashim. And may Allah make it easy for him, inshallah. And one of the things that was stopping him was obviously the responsibility, but I said to him, look, that's one of the tricks of shaitan, you know, I'm, I'm, I need to be good enough. You know, we can never be. So it's a journey that started and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep Michael on the straight path. And we're looking forward to meeting him here. Hopefully he can come visit us every Sunday. And yeah, so here's the Shahada and how it happened. So he's right now as a Muslim, but uh, as you watch this footage, you're going to see how he became a Muslim. Uh, till next time, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Hashim, please leave him. Please repeat this call. Next. Shahada. Shahada. Yeah, why not? It's I mean, it's that time. It's time, it's time that it's time. Yeah. Uh, do, do you like me to say a shahada for you to repeat it? I'm waiting for this man. <laughs> you want to take a shahada now with me? Yeah, 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 no problem. So you you accept Islam by your free will, and Absolutely. no one is like. Yeah, no one is forcing. I don't, I don't think anyone can force him. To say. He's, a, he's a judo. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's the best thing, isn't it? Because this being the, the Islam, you, I'm sure you have researched it already and you have come to a conclusion that this is the truth and then you're accepting by your own free will. Yeah, inshallah. So yeah, I mean the process is quite simple. Uh, it's for you to declare the, the statement of faith, which we call the Shahada. So it's, it's, I'll say it in English, uh, just for you to understand, that um, I declare 
that there is no God but Allah worthy of worship and I declare that Muhammad is his messenger. Yes. So do you accept that? Do you, do you want to say it yourself? Say, say it yourself. Yeah, I accept it. Yeah. I, you can repeat it. Yeah, I declare that. I declare that. There is no God worthy of worship. There is no God worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I declare that yes. Muhammad is Ahmed. his messenger. This is messenger. Yes. So in Arabic it would be Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An. An. La ilaha. Ilaha. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. Ash. Wa ash. Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammad Rasul Rasul Allah Allah Alhamdulillah Welcome to Kadir Good to see you Thank you for doing it man It's not good but Yeah I know it's like kind of times Times of madness right Yeah I know I appreciate it I get a shake now I shake Shake hand just for the joy of it Inshallah Thank you man I appreciate it Now with your word Even if you die after 5 minutes You're going straight to To heaven To paradise Because all your bad deed It will be Yes. Turn into good deed, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will multiply your your reward, and He will reward you with two uh, paradise. So you, you got a clean slate so, now. So Allah, well, Allah knows my heart. Yes. So, 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 he knows that's my one. Now make dua for us. Yeah, he's made dua for us. So what what it means now is that your previous sins are wiped away. Not only wiped away, Allah turns them into good deeds. So you you're not you, before you were maybe in debt, but now it's been cleaned and that has been added into you know uh, your good deeds so from now on like i said to you before it's your journey your journey starts some people you know it will take time but you seem like someone that you know is dedicated so i'm going to give you some books some materials to just you know read as well um, have you read hamza zorch's book um divine reality it's quite good it's quite strong um you might not need it but it's a good read it's a good read you know um, what, what was your background before uh, well, religious, religious. Uh, I would have said I was just a spiritual person. I, uh, I was christened in, or baptized in uh, Christian Orthodoxy as a child, raised that way. My own children are Christian Orthodox as well. Yeah. I've just done it as culture. Yeah. So, yeah. so it kind of, I kind of feel bad about that because I don't really believe it. Well, like Ali said, you start with a new slate, new clean slate. So whatever happened in the past is all now forgiven yeah. so you are like a newborn baby you know <laughs> with, with with no sins at all you <laughs> feel like a newborn baby <laughs> new, but no, it's broken <laughs> with no with no sins at all with a fresh. new page in your life white a new, new book and we are witness that in front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is a pleasure for us that we witness this this is the the I mean, beautiful I mean, thing in the world yeah. Yeah. Yes. because uh, I, can, I can imagine you know, uh, I'm not doing it because I've been raised this way yeah. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. yeah we'll give you some material as well I'm going to give you a website which you can they'll send you free books and stuff like that no, new no. like new Muslim uh, starter pack yeah. so they'll send you that stuff it's quite interesting okay. I don't know if Sabur's here yeah Sabur is here I'll, I'll give so, a yeah, ring uh, brother and sisters it was quite interesting Michael came to the table today he said he's What's been watching videos okay. that uh, has he took it as a sign? He was, he was asking God for signs, and these videos were coming to him. And he's come today to visit us. He's accepted Islam. We didn't force him. We asked him. He himself wanted to accept Islam, as you can see, brothers and sisters. And guidance from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We praise him, and we thank Brother Hashim for coming. Inshallah, he played a big inspiration in Michael's life, as you can see. And hopefully, we'll see Michael coming to the park more often. Uh, it will be nice to see him. So, Inshallah, he's a more educated person. <laughs> <laughs> On this table, they're giving dawah. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>